Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Code. So today we are going to discuss about the uh, passing the environment variables from the Circle CI or the GitHub Actions. So previously we discussed like how to encrypt and decrypt user credential with the help of Crypto JS and in our in our Playwright test script, right? So most of the comment were like how we can set the value in the CI. So it's going to be very simple actually. So if I go to my playwright.config file here, we can select we have only this particular test login.user.ts. Let me open this. So here you can select we have only one test that is test.only. And here you can see like we have the get decrypted value and here we have the secret key. So just to confirm, I'm going to execute this. So here you can see like when we set like secret key, uh, that is this particular uh, variable and then we have given our actual value and then followed by the npm uh, script okay so of course it's going to pass and you can see like we got the uh, thing so if i give something wrong like let's say that my secret key is missing or secret key is wrong then in that case of course the test is going to fail and it will give us error like we cannot see the header something like that okay so let's go and check this one yeah so here you can see like we got the failure and if you go to the reporter you can see like expected to be visible but uh, there is a timeout that means login is not successful of course we can write a better test we can add the like uh, the url or the page title uh, expect but in my case i have just this thing which is not showing that means of course our credential is passed wrong right so how to solve in the circle ci is very easy so if you go to your config.yaml file here uh, we have to use something like environment okay so for example like we have already discussed this using the docker file and we have steps like we are going to do the checkout of the code and then within the run we are saying like download dependencies where we are running our npm ci and then we are running our npm test and then we are saying like npm run test so before this command we have to set so you can give the environment during your dependency download or like after this also anywhere it's fine okay but what we have to do is we have to set this before running our command okay after command we should not use the environment before the command line we have to use this environment so here it's like environment that's a keyword and this secret key is nothing but here we are saying like process dot environment dot secret key right so what it can be anything like uh, pass code password secret key something so here in my case it's secret key so here you can see like we are we have said this and this secret key can be also like user defined but whatever we are going to give here that should be present in your circle ci so for example let's say that uh uh here we have secret key let me go to my project config so go to your dashboard then select your particular project like in my case it's going to be play like book cart then we'll see this project setting just click on that and then here we have a option called environment variables and here first of all what we have to do is let me delete the existing one first So once you go to this environment variables, it will be something like this. Then you have to click on the add environment variable and make sure like whatever we are going to pass here, like secret key that should be here. And this is going to be your value. So value in the sense like the actual uh, your uh, what we call that your pass key. Okay, so here in my case, it's pass one to three dollar one to three dollar or one two dollar. I forgot. Let me check. Yeah, I think one to three dollar only. Okay, so I'm going to add environment variables. Now let's go to the previous page. That is the project page. So already I have committed the committed the code. So I'm going to select the master branch. I'm going to trigger from here itself. Okay, so if I click this trigger pipeline, so now it should run. If our password key is correct, it will pass or else it will fail. Okay. So that's the only thing you have to do. Let me repeat once again. So first of all, within your YAML file, make sure you have this environment variable and the secret key. This is your like process dot environment dot secret key. Like whatever you are going to access it from here, that should be your key. And this should be value. This value should be exactly same in your 
uh, project config in the circle ci okay so let's go to the running test if i go to the run test and okay it's downloading all the dependency then it's going to run the test and here you can select it got success that means of course our test is running properly uh, with the secret key you can just go and change the secret key and then you can check it will definitely fail for example in my previous exam execution i have given the wrong key and here you can see like we got the error like uh, to be visible is not visible okay so that's it very cool now we can do the same in jenkins as well in jenkins we have a configuration called parameterized build you can use that you can pass the environment variables but most of us might be using this uh, github actions as well here also very same same if you go within your workflow if you go to this playwright.yaml file here you can see like we have used this uh, environment and within the environment here we are giving like secret password that is what i have used like process.environment.secret underscore password in my test script and here we have to use this so it will be like dollar double curly braces and secrets dot secret password and then followed by closing double brackets okay now where where from i get this secret dot secret password in the sense like it's very simple go to your setting of that particular project and then you have to go to like secrets actions and here you can select we are we have given the secret underscore password and if i click on this edit there will be my actual value okay so that's it very simple uh, nothing much here it's going to be very very simple if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Tada bye bye take care and wish you all very happy merry christmas and also advance happy new year